Amsterdam is closer to London than Shetland, where we are now, and it's a popular and reasonably cheap weekend break. But the city's image has suffered some sensational distortions over the years, so if you do decide to see for yourself, just where do you start? Well, Shankar Guha sorts out the boats and the bikes, the beer and the bulbs in Holiday's own guide to Amsterdam. Come on, stew it up now. The first thing new visitors to this city noticed is how the 1960s came along and swept Amsterdam off its feet. The love affair lingers on in the cafes, streets and, of course, the canals. Most of Amsterdam's sites are easily accessible from the water. With the generous helping of Dutch courage, you can find your own route through the city's 160 canals. If you don't mind sticking out as the total tourist, a pedalo is a nice, gentle way to float under and along the city's highways and byways. If you feel more comfortable surrounded by other sightseers, a boat tour may be the thing. Amsterdam has approximately 2,500 houseboats. Many have gas, electricity and running water. But Amsterdammers do it on bicycles. And you can join them simply by hiring a bike by the day for just four pounds. When your tired and rattled bones have had enough, the famous brown cafes, so named because decades of smoke stains have dyed their walls, offer lively chat or something stronger. You're just as likely to call in for a cup of coffee and a slice of cake as you are for a local specialty, consisting of a glass of beer, followed by a gin chaser. It's known as a kop stout, which translates directly as a headbutt. I think it's the coffee for me. If you like flowers, a half an hour outside of Amsterdam is the Altmeer Flower Market, the world's largest flower auction. For five guilders, you can get in and wander about and sniff the blooms to your heart's content. I've heard the phrase Dutch auction, but never seen one. Here, prices aren't bid upwards, but tumble down until someone buys. Exactly, I don't know, 31 You have to push cents. the button exactly at the same price you want to willing to pay for. And it all depends on your reflexes, does it? To catch oh, the clock as it yeah. goes down. Yeah. With the highest concentration of museums in the world, there's something here to appeal to the staunchest of museum haters. Amsterdam has 40 museums. The essential four to visit include the Rijksmuseum. Predictably strong on Dutch masters like Vermeer, De Hoog, and the superstar Rembrandt. But if your tastes are more contemporary, try the stately. This houseboat on the single canal is a home for distressed and bewildered cats. Visitors are welcome, but you'd better be a cat lover. The smell of 200 or so of the creatures and their various nibbles is enough to turn your stomach. I feel quite uncomfortable talking about Anne Frank's house as a tourist attraction. But while it stands, it's a reminder to all who come that Anne Frank's diary was not a storybook, not a piece of fiction, but a real account of real people who lived in a real house. This wasn't my first time within these walls, but they don't lose their power to move you and practically radiate a message against fascism. Waterbeds are still popular in Amsterdam. You could find one in your hotel room. But after a day spent bobbing around on the canals and a night spent sinking a few jars in the bars, you may just find the idea makes you feel a bit seasick. After dark, the canal side cafes light up. It's one of the easiest cities in which to hang out with and among local people and feel the pulse of local life. Local food doesn't come faster than this, but it tastes about as good as deep fried cardboard. Restaurants are very cosmopolitan and generally affordable, a better bet. During the 60s, Amsterdam was one of the centers of the hippie universe. Most of the city has moved on a bit since then. But here in Vondel Park, on a lazy Sunday afternoon, the summer of love just rolls on and on and on.
Take a trip to Amsterdam and you'll discover one of the most relaxed and easygoing cities in Europe. As they said in the 60s, take a trip, man. A weekend in Amsterdam in the spring and summer costs from £200, staying for two nights, including bed and breakfast, flights and transfers. It's cheaper if you go by coach and ferry. That's from £152 for that weekend. And details of all the holidays featured on tonight's programme are on CFAX, page 616.